Hey guys, we're looking at a uh, 110,000 BTU furnace, Lennox furnace and coil here. Uh, it's an 80 percenter. Flue pipe comes up out of the furnace over here to the, the flue that runs up through the wall. Um, that's okay, it's fairly new. Um, our line set comes out of the front of the coil here, runs up into the ceiling, and then down the ceiling and right out the side of the building over here. Um, and then the, you can see the rack mount right there on the ceiling for the, uh, the air conditioner. Um, chances are we're probably going to cut the rack off and set the air conditioner on the ground. I haven't gotten that far yet, but um, I'll put it in the notes. Here's the coil. So we got a four ton coil right here. There's the model and serial number on the furnace. Looks like it's from 2007 or 2008. Not quite sure on that one. Um, if we do replace the furnace, we are going to cut the uh, the return drop out here at the bottom of the return um, and run that down to the floor. Put a five inch media cabinet in uh, for the new system. Um, condensate line runs down to the floor and over here to the floor drain. So we'll just put a new condensate line in for them uh, with the new coil. Um, as far as supply drop goes, um, we'll, we'll just attach to the existing supply duct up there on the top, so we'll have to fabricate a little, a little spot to go up into that uh, supply drop. And that's pretty much it for the furnace and coil. Right around the corner here, we do have the breaker box. It's a Kraus and Heinz breaker box. And inside of the breaker box here, that our furnace is going to be this breaker and that is a 15 amp breaker and then our air conditioner is up here that's a 50 amp breaker for the air conditioner so depending on the size of breaker we need for the new air conditioner we may be putting in a fuse disconnect again down here in the basement you have really easy access there's a walk out here um, it goes to the outside um, so you'll be able to bring the new equipment um, right down here through the outside of the uh, through the basement. All right, guys, we're at the matching condenser to that uh, unit down there in the basement. Um, this is a four ton AC uh, disconnect boxes right here. Uh, we'll put a new disconnect and whip in um, with a fuse disconnect for them out here. Uh, line set. Uh, since it's an open basement, we'll go ahead and replace the line set because I'm going to suggest that we put the new unit um, down on the ground. Um, just to get rid of the vibration because that's one thing that the customer has complained about There's a lot of vibration in the house whenever this unit kicks on um, So for it to go on the ground, we'll have to bring uh, several bags of rock and dirt um, some pavers um, A new pad and we'll build a little retaining wall to set the system on um, we're also going to have to do something with uh, um, right here is her, her um, outlet for her sump pump so uh, we'll have to build a way to divert the water around our, our system to the, um, to the outside uh, of the lawn there. Here's your model and serial numbers. Um, as far as access goes, you got really easy access to the, the front of the house with street parking. And then here's the fence I was talking about with the gate um, that goes right down into the basement. It's right on the other side of that corner there. Should be pretty straightforward.